everybody welcome back i feel like i'm waving like a crazy lunatic <laughs> welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me for yet another video you're probably wondering where have i been um i was supposed to upload a video on sunday that didn't happen um if you saw my renovation video that i uploaded yesterday you will know why um, it was a very busy weekend. It was non-stop. It was go, go, go. Um, trying to break concrete in the basement, which we finally managed to do. My father, bless his heart. Um, if I'm telling you, if you haven't seen the video, check out the renovation video. I'll link it up here at the top. It was insane this weekend between my dad, cracking concrete, sledgehammer. I was even using the jackhammer. Um, you know, we had to rent a jackhammer and try and break the concrete to make a doorway. So there is now a door over there. You can't see it now, but you will see it in the video, the renovation video, if you check it out. But can I tell you, I tarped off the entire basement, my entire section of the art space here. It was beyond tarped, like you wouldn't believe, and dust still managed to get through. Um, it was ridiculous. Uh, I spent all evening cleaning yesterday. I was physically exhausted to the point where, you know, when you're tired, bad things happen, you know, you should just kind of put it away and then just do it the next day when you're more refreshed. No, not Canela. Canela needs to finish everything that day and be done with it and finish it and not have to deal with it the next day. That's how I am. Um, so of course I had to uh, vacuum all three floors, mop all three floors, um, you know, upstairs, main floor and the basement. There was concrete dust everywhere down here. And of course I was almost done and I was vacuuming the stairs and like an idiot, <laughs> I stepped on the vacuum hose on the stairs and down I went. So yes, um, I'm hurt. <laughs> Standing here right now is not fun. Actually, I should be sitting. Um, I did hurt my right, no, my left foot pretty bad. It seems to always be the left foot that I keep killing. Um, you know, a couple months back, I don't know, five, six months, it was my ankle. I rolled it when I was walking the dogs and now I fall down the stairs. So I, I, said, I said, my husband says to me, my gosh, what's wrong with you? You're such a klutz. Cause I fall down the stairs a lot apparently. Um, I said, I'm not a klutz. I said, I'm just flipping tired. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to make this video and then I'm going to go have a seat. Um, so please bear with me. Um, I know it's Tuesday. You guys are watching this right now. It's Monday night for me. Uh, I managed to clean everything up. So I'm going to do a quick video. It is a commission piece because I am falling behind on my commissions. I'm so sorry, everybody. It's just, I didn't think all this renovation would affect me so much. Um, I Like I said, I had to tarp up the basement for like three days. I couldn't do anything down here for three days, um, you know, with all the concrete going on. Next week we have um, HVAC coming and they're replacing the water tank we have that's literally right behind this wall right here. Um, so they're taking out the 11 year old water tank and putting in a new one. Um, so I'm going to have to tarp everything up again and I'll probably be out of commission for a couple of days again. I don't even know. So just bear with me. Um, exciting news. If you remember the paddles that I did for Camp Ujigea, which is a camp for children with cancer, the paddles were going to be auctioned off. The auction is now live. I'm so excited. The auction runs till I believe November 12th. There are a hundred paddles in total. You can check out all the paddles by even celebrities um, and all Canadian artists under paddleauction.ca. Um, so I'll try and remember to put that in the description below or even just write it down here at the bottom. I'm kind of getting a little nifty with my editing skills lately. But paddleauction.ca. My paddles are paddles um, 80. I'm 80 on the list. And I'm happy to say that their um, currently bid is $1,000 for them, which is super neat. Um, so check that out. Uh, it all goes to a good cause. It goes to the camp for um, that supports and helps children with cancer. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, thank you to Heather for the PayPal payment. Um, sorry, PayPal payment. Payment. 
<laughs> oh my god i need some sleep paypal donation thank you heather for your paypal donation it's greatly appreciated and cheryl as well for your paypal donation you ladies are great thank you so much for your generosity um my last video i did the um pinks and magenta and the red and gold they are pretty much dry actually this one is dry um, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It barely moved, so I'm very happy about that. It just needs some uh, crystal resin. And I'm happy to report this one has sold. And then here is the gold and red. And this one, look at the shimmer in there, that gold. And I think there's a touch of this, let me see. I think it's a smidge wet right here in the center. But uh, yeah, so this one is done. This one will get a coat of crystal resin and this one has sold as well. I told you guys, these things go fast. Um, they sold pretty quickly. So thank you to the lovely buyers who purchased those. Um, I will be doing more color pieces like that uh, in the next video. But as I said, I really need to get to this commission and get it done and off to my client. There's a bunch of pieces I want to show you out in the beautiful sunlight, but again, today was a gloomy, cold, grisly day. Um, it's so depressing. <laughs> Where's the sunshine? Um, so I will hopefully wait for another day or so to get some nice videos of those dried pieces and finished resin pieces out in the sun. Um, crystal resin, as I mentioned many a times, you can now order crystal resin. It ships to the U.S., um, ships to Canada free. You can save 5% off your crystal resin order using code CANELA5. Um, the resin is already on sale on the website, so you can save an extra 5% off the sale price. And if you're in the U.S., it ends up being cheaper for you because the prices are in Canadian funds and the exchange, the exchange rate is um, better for you guys in the U.S., Okay, so let's talk about what's going on here today. I am working on a uh, 15 by 30 inch canvas. My client saw video number 253 where I did this size and I did a split with the peach, white, and peach. And she liked the split, but she liked the colors from video 255. So with a little bit of a tweak in them. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get um, my canvas ready. I'm gonna flood it. I'm gonna get all that ready and then I'll be back and we'll get started and I'll tell you what the colors are and what we're up to today. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so what we have here, as I mentioned earlier, is a 15 by 30 inch canvas. Um, this side is my um, Titan Mars Pale by Golden. Um, and she's done. Um, I scraped whatever I could out of this thing just to get um, this pour uh, done. Um, but that is it. That's all that's left. But I want to say thanks to Deb and to Amy, um, two of my awesome viewers who are sending me um, another tube or not tube, a jar of that. Um, so I'm very excited. Thank you so much, ladies, for your generosity in sending me paint and everyone else who offered to send me paint. Um, I had a lot of people offer me, um, offer to send me some paint. So thank you so much, guys. I don't need 10, ten jars. <laughs> Two will be sufficient. If I ever run out, I'll let you guys know. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, ladies, for sending me that over. Um, I'm just going to pop the bubbles real quick because there's a lot of bubbles in here super quick okay so as i said it's the titan pale mars right is that what it is titan mars pale <laughs> a little off here titan mars pale and in the middle i've got my white which is my artist loft flow acrylic white um and this is mixed with water and flow troll all my paints are mixed with water and flow troll and you can find that mixture in video number 63. I will link it up at the top. The golden paint, however, because it's so highly pigmented and very, very thick, I don't use the same ratio as these. Um, it, I use a lot less paint. And I, I, I haven't really measured it. Um, I just kind of eyeball this one. Um, so, for example, with this... 
I use 80 grams Floetrol, um, 40 grams paint, and 30 grams of water. And if I'm mixing this, I did 80 grams of Floetrol, maybe 20 grams of paint, and 30 grams of water. Um, because it's so thick and so highly pigmented, you don't need to use as much as you would with your tube paints like Artist Loft and Liquitex Basics. So, you know, um, so that's that. And again, if you want to see video number 63, all my squeeze bottles are Loli Vefi squeeze bottles. You guys, all, you guys all know about Loli Vefi. Any of you newcomers who are watching, welcome. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. But um, any Loli Vefi products, the silicone mats, the bottles, you can save everything. You can save 10% off your entire Loli Vefi order using code Canela10. Again, all that info is in the description below the video. Okay, so today's colors we are using are the Red Oxide by Golden. Then we have 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And then we have Copper by Artist Loft. And then Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft, which my client told me just put a smidge of blue of this, the Cobalt Blue, so I better remember that this time. But then the difference between this video and video 255 is she wanted orange. So I'm adding Iridescent Orange Yellow by Pebeo. Um, studio acrylics because she wanted kind of like fall type colors but she really loves turquoise and blues so we're leaving this color in but I'm going to put a smidge of it I better remember that <laughs> okay so we are going to start with the red oxide and we are going to do the lines going this way I will get my paper towel because I like to clean my bottles off after I squeeze out my paint all right. So today we had um, framing inspection. <clears throat> After every trade is done, you got to call the town and get an inspection done. So today was the uh, framing inspection and the inspector came and she saw everything and she gave us the A-OK -okay to proceed. Um, to the next step. So we are super happy and excited about that because, you know, there's nothing worse than doing all that framing and then having issues and having to call the framers back. But our framers were super, super good and uh, they're awesome at their job. So everything was perfect. And don't forget, Canela, a little bit of blue, little, little, little line, little line. I hope that's not too little because it's like literally disappearing. Um, nope, she said a little bit. I'm going to leave it. It's so little though. Could you even see it? Can you even see it? I mm, Maybe just a little bit more. It just doesn't seem like enough. I just did maybe the, like that. Maybe just a little trickle. There. Okay, now I'm happy. And finally, this beautiful orange. Um, so yeah, uh, inspection went well. So like, uh, and if you saw in the video, we had half of the HVAC done already. Still a lot to go. Um, but, and my brother was up yesterday and, uh, started electrical. The kids' rooms upstairs are fully done, which is great. Super happy that my brother was able to help out. He's a master electrician, so he's super busy, but yet he found time on Sunday to come up and spend the entire day um, wiring our house, the new part. So I'm super grateful to my family, my brother, my dad, my mom came up, made us all lunch, took care of the kids. So, okay, let's uh, move this over here. Let's uh, blow this out. I'm gonna start here in the middle, let's go.
love it. Do you notice how I take my time now when I'm blowing things out? Um, I used to back in the day just go and just blow it all out and then I'd be like, oh, I shouldn't have blown it this way and I shouldn't have blown it that way. And now I'm actually more um, methodical and I think about as I'm blowing it and I'm taking like my time um, and it, it really pays off because, oh, wait till you come and see the close up and you see these beautiful cells happening. So there are a few, few things I want to fix. I want to blow some of the red oxide in here. Now she wanted fall colors. She's got them. And you know what? I'm really happy with the metallic cobalt blue. It's not overpowering. There's certain stripes in it, but that is about it. So I'm hoping that um, she loves that. So I'm going to start over here after I get untangled here from my microphone cord and my Dutch pour, I mean my hair dryer. I'm a little, there we go. Okay, so let's start here. Pretty. And then I'm going to blow a little bit here. I really, really, really love this iridescent orange yellow. It's so pretty. Such a, wait till you see the shimmer. I'm telling you, the shimmer is gorgeous. Let's see. I don't think I wanna to touch anything else. I just wanted to fidget in here where there was a lot of white. It's so pretty. I really like it. <gasps> Yay. Um, okay. I don't think I'm going to torch anything. Let me just double check really quick if there's any petals I want to touch. And there are not. Um, oh, don't forget. I forgot to mention. Make sure your canvas is super level. I made sure it was level here, here. I better be careful I don't drop that in there. <laughs> here, here, here. And then here and here. Hold it for dear life. Um, so make sure your canvas is level guys. I cannot stress that enough. Um, I am going to bring you guys down for a close up and of course studio lights on and studio lights off and you guys are going to see how pretty this thing is up close. Be right back. All right, everybody. So here it is. I took a minute or 10 <laughs> to sit down for a minute. Uh, and then of course I fixed all my sides, made sure that um, everything was uh, cleaned up and everything is dripping nicely. There's no spots or drips or anything like that. And I already took my um, little stick here and don't forget to run across the bottom, just like so, run across. See, look, I even already did it once and yet there's still a few drips under there. So catch your drips. Don't forget about your drips. Let's see, anything else under here? No, I pretty much caught everything there. But you see that? You see that? No good? Just dip your finger under here and just tap it under there and then it's gone, okay? So things like that, they, little teeny tiny things like that are um, important. Let's see what's going on over here. So you see, everything is perfect on this side. All right. Now, let's get to the close-up carefully. Okay, I think I nailed this one with the full color scheme. Look at the cells. It's so pretty. Oh, that's a beautiful cluster right there. That's really nice. So I'm hoping this uh, doesn't move too much, if at all. I'm going to set a timer on my watch. Look at those cells. So pretty. I set a timer on my watch and come back down to it in about 15 20 minutes and just check you know what I don't like that white bubble there boom there we go let's get rid of it um, I'll come back and I'll check on it and if I notice I'm gonna take a picture of it now and I'm going to come back 15 20 minutes later and check to see if anything has moved like has this moved and fallen off 
um, you know, has that corner moved and fallen off or vice versa? Is it, is it shifting this way? You know, and if I see it's shifting a specific way, I'm going to take a popsicle stick and prop it under whichever push pin I feel needs to bring it back. So that's another way you can make sure or try make sure that your composition tries to stay put. Um, obviously it was level, but that doesn't mean a thing because if you have a lot of paint on the canvas or if your paint is too thin, um, it will move on you. So I will come back 15 minutes from now. So there you have the uh, piece with the lights on. I'm going to turn the lights off and you will be blown away or maybe not because you've seen how beautiful it is with the lights off, but let's turn the lights off and see what it looks like. All right, guys, here we go. Look, you can already see the shimmer. It's so pretty. That is the 24 karat gold in there. Look at that. That is also the iridescent orange yellow in there. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I really love it. There's Echo, Echo the guard dog. So check that out. When this gets a coat of crystal resin, she's going to be a beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Look at, no matter where you look, even in here, you can still see a little overlay of the white. I mean, the gold, the gold shimmer. This is so pretty. I'm sure my client is watching. I hope you like your piece. I love it. It's so pretty. I love the shimmer. It's so, so pretty. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this one. And don't worry, I will get back to the gray um, color explorations in the next video. Um, for those of you who are new watching, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. All the information you need to know is listed in the description below. My Amazon links, my PayPal link for anyone who'd like to donate, um, discounts to Loli Vefi and Crystal Resin, um, my son's YouTube channel. You guys are the best. I've been going over there and watching his videos and reading everybody's comments. And you guys are so kind. The comments that I'm reading under there uh, under his videos, you guys are so, and it's not just like, hey, Lucas, nice video. They're like legit long comments about like how it reminded them of this when they were younger and how their husband's a train conductor and this and that. Like, you guys are the best. I love it. And I love you guys for being so supportive to my little guy uh, and his train channel. So thank you so much to everybody for that. So uh, that's it for now. I'm going to go and sit down. <laughs> Actually, I may, what time is it? 7.09. I may even just get into my jammies and jump into bed because <laughs> I've had enough for one day. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, which I hope will be in three days from now. So stay tuned. Until then, guys, have a good day. Have a good night. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.